Hi guys! I'm back again this weekend with another video. So this is the makeup look for today. Um, I've actually used the Colourpop eyeshadow in So Quiche and I have to say that I am in love with it because it is so creamy. I actually thought that it was more of a powder eyeshadow but after using, I realized that it's actually very creamy uh, to the point that it feels like a powder eyeshadow. I don't know if that makes sense but I love it so much. It's so full of glitter. It has this greenish tone to it. So I just added um, a bit of brown to the crease to kind of warm up the look. This is another product that is from Indonesia that my aunt got for me. It's the Makeover Blusher. It, there is an eyeshadow palette as well, but um, I'm just using this blusher for today. This is a very wearable look. Uh, you can wear it anywhere. I am in love with the Colourpop Bimbo. Ouch. Bimbo lipstick as well. It's the matte line. So it looks so different from the tube. You can see that it dries up darker than it looks in the tube. So if you want to learn how to do this look, then just keep on watching. And I'll see you again at the end of the video. Bye guys! I've already applied my foundation prior to this, so I'm going in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer as a highlighter. Next, I'm going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Compact Powder in the color medium. This one has got micro glitters in it, so you're always ready to take photos all day, every day. Going in with the Cryolan Loose Powder as a setting powder which I'll be applying under my eyes and on my nose. a brown pencil to do my eyebrows but today I decided to go in with black since the Cryolan black pencil is not exactly that black and I feel like I prefer darker eyebrows. any cream based eyeshadow for this but in this case I'm just using a generic cream based glitter eyeshadow so that my Colourpop eyeshadow will adhere onto this. This is the Pat Cosmetics 48 color eye palette 
and I'm going in for this beautiful iridescent pinkish toned color that I'm going to apply on my brow bone. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in So Quiche. I love this color so much because it has very tiny peach colored glitter with a greenish base to it. So it's very double toned and I love the consistency of it as well. I'm using a flat brush and I'm applying So Quiche over the entire eyelid. I'm picking up a rusted gold color to apply onto my crease. Now I'm going in with a brown color from the same palette as well to warm up the colors on my eyelid. always I'm using my Silky Girl waterproof eyeliner which has a felt tip making it extremely easy for application. <laughs> To line my eyes and my waterline and tight line my eyes basically, I'm using a Romlon Black Eye Pencil. Now I'm using a powder brush to brush away all the loose powder that I had set under my eyes and then I'm buffing in the rest of the powder that's on my face. For blusher, I'm going in with the Makeover Blusher, which is a beautiful orangish coral color 
that just adds so much warmth onto this look and it's in the color Scarlet Sheen but I assure you it is not Scarlet at all. And as always, my one true love, the Micro Smooth Trio, which has a contour shade which I'm applying at the hollows of my cheeks, and of course, the lovely highlighter shade. And then my second true love, which is the Bella Pierre Bronzing Powder, which just adds so much love, so much highlighter love to my face. For mascara, I'm using the Majolica Majorica Mascara. The wand comes with a comb, which is so awesome because it actually combs through the entire lash and it adds on fiber as well which makes my lashes longer and fuller For the lips, I'm going in with Limbo from the Colourpop Ultra Matte line and I love this so much because it resembles chocolate. Suffocating, I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire, set my heart afire. this look is achieved. I went in with the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Lip Gloss in the colour Metallic Candy Bar and I just wanted to show you that this look can go from day to night so it's up to you how you like to put your lipstick on for nighttime functions but I feel that adding some gloss adds a touch of glamour to any look and it's really up to you um, how you like to wear your lip out. So this is the end of the video, let me know if you like this super glowy brown chocolate look and I'll see you again in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and constructive criticism please. Thank you, have a blessed week ahead and I'll see you again soon. Bye everyone!